Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the identity property of multiplication. Now, when it comes to the identity property, think of the word itself. Basically, we need to think, how do we get something to equal itself? The identity property is actually very simple, but it's important to be familiar with because it applies to everything from basic math facts to algebraic equations and expressions to whatever else the case may be. So for the identity property of multiplication, what can we multiply any number by to equal that number itself? Well, any number times one will equal that number itself. And it's as simple as that. Let's jump into number one, where we have a times what equals a? Well, a times one equals a. a just represents any number. We can plug in any number for a, and the identity property of multiplication will apply. a times one equals a. Any number times one will equal itself. Let's move on to number two, where we have 14 times what equals 14. So again, how do we get this number to equal itself? Well, 14 times one equals 14. And that's the identity property of multiplication. So there you have it. There's an explanation of the identity property of multiplication. It's a very simple property, but a very important one to be familiar with. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.